Spiral galaxies are collections of dust, gas, and billions of stars forming a flattened disk. But at the very heart of this galaxy lies a monster. Astronomers have discovered that every major galaxy has, at its core, a huge black hole, with millions or even billions of times the mass of our Sun. In a normal or quiescent galaxy, this picture is fairly serene. But not all galaxies are quiet. In some, gas and dust are actively falling onto the central black hole. This material forms a flattened disk, called an accretion disk. Friction and other forces heat the disk to millions of degrees, so hot that it emits X-rays. The disk becomes incredibly bright, outshining all the rest of the galaxy. When this happens, the galaxy is said to be active. Some active galaxies blast out beams of matter and energy, emanating from near the central black hole. These jets are powered by the accretion disk, probably focused by the disk's rotation and magnetic fields but their ultimate nature is still not well understood by scientists. After traveling outward for hundreds of thousands of light years, the jets slow and finally stop as they ram through the thin gas outside the galaxy. Where they stop, the jets puff up, forming giant clouds of radio wave emitting gas called radio lobes. Astronomers have learned that active galaxies like this one take on very different appearances depending upon the angle to us. If we view the galaxy edge-on, from the side, dust in the accretion disk blocks the most energetic light, and the fainter radio lobes are easier to spot. But, if the galaxy is tilted with respect to us, the hotter, brighter, X-ray-emitting material from the inner accretion disk can be seen. The lobes become more difficult to see. A face-on galaxy means we are looking almost straight down the jets. The intensely bright, but relatively small, accretion disk completely outshines the dimmer galaxy, and all we see is a star-like point. This type of galaxy is called a quasar. If the jets are aimed precisely at us, super high energy gamma rays in the jets can be detected. In this extreme case, we call the galaxy a blazar. There are no hints of jets, lobes, or even the galaxy itself. All we can see is a flood of gamma rays from the very core of the galaxy. This one type of object, an active galaxy with a central supermassive black hole, an accretion disk, and jets, can appear very different depending on the angle at which we see it. It is only when we view galaxies in different wavelengths of light, radio, optical, X, and gamma rays, that their true nature becomes apparent.